to play the test for the revelation uh and i'm playing this because i had played some of the other test games and i thought they were really interesting and i think you all thought they were interesting too so uh yeah that's what we own for this uh weird game wednesday nobody suggested this game i actually just saw it on steam and i said you know what i'm about to play the final revelation so here we are as always if you're new to the channel thank you for stopping by Checking your boy Puss and Boots out on this Weird Game Wednesday where y'all suggest me odd or weird or perverse type games. Uh, y'all put it down in the comments below. And if I choose your game, then I give you a shout out in the video. And today I'm giving myself a shout out for suggesting the test for the revelation. Y'all know the drill, man. Hit that like button. Share and subscribe if you haven't already. Put down a suggestion for the next Weird Game Wednesday in the comments below. Let's get to the gameplay. Final Revelation! <clears throat> Before experiencing the test Final Revelation, it is highly recommended that you've played its prequels, The Test, and The Test Hypothesis Rising before venturing into this experience. I have played them both Therefore, uh, let's keep moving on. Yeah, so I forgot. Uh, I think the last time I played the last one, the Grand Rising or whatever, it told me like I have low, low self-esteem or something like that at the end. When the sun comes crashing down and the heroes fade away, when darkness is all around and there is no light of day, I will come back for you so that you never feel alone. My spirit will push through. Your heart will ever for be my hug. Uh, yeah, you got it. When the world spirals into the abyss, I will be standing there. Your embrace, so long I've missed. My soul, my love I bear. And when every nerve has been left deafened and every ghost has left its shell, I will bring you back to your heaven as you've rescued me from hell. Hello, it's Fate again. <clears throat> no matter what happens, I will always love you. Thanks, Fate. I appreciate that. Choice? Do you promise? Fate. With every ounce of my heart and each droplet of my soul, I swear to you. Fate. We're going to find a way out of here. Okay, wait a minute. This was a whole exchange between Fate and Choice back there? I see what they're saying. They kind of asking if you have if we have like freedom of choice or is it all our choices based on fate, which would then take away choice because everything is fate. Hmm. I wasn't expecting you so soon. Well, here we are. You bet. Ask me the damn questions, though. I knew that one day we would meet in this room. Destiny, you see closely. I've been watching you. That's you, too. For those of you who are watching, that's you, too. I'm so ridiculous. Studying every breath and every move. You've been stalking me. Gotcha. A few of my former colleagues you may have met. And a slew of questions you've answered without regret. Uh, <laughs> that boy rhyming now. He rhyming, rhyming. I may be similar, but unlike them still. I will. I'll make you swallow the truth like a bitter pill. Why he got to rhyme everything now? Dr. Seuss, I will peel the emotion from your soul and make you eat your feelings whole. The questions I ask may be hard to answer, but I will cut the truth from you like cancer. <laughs> they should have had me like write these. I could rhyme like a little bit better than this. Uh, both of us know why you are why you're here to open up and cast out fear, to be honest as you can, to take angels wings or devil's hand. And in the end, we both will know how to escape your undertow. Time is on your side. 
but mistakes are not. Misanswered questions lead to misery and rot. Now, let the examination begin. Finally, Destiny, let's get to it. You know, I knew a girl named Destiny. Long time ago. Whatever. Uh, do you ever feel like you just aren't good enough? I do! Do you ever feel like you put more effort into friends or relationships than others put back into you? 100%! Who hasn't felt like that? Do you ever feel like your life is going nowhere? Mm, I don't know if I've ever... Sure, there's been times where I felt like that. Do you ever feel like you're trapped in limbo? Mm, nah, don't feel like that though. Do you ever feel overwhelmed by seemingly trivial tasks? Hell yeah, every day at work. Are you sometimes afraid of what you're... I hope my uh, job don't watch my videos and actually like see me say that. Well, they know I, I, it's like trivial tasks, whatever. Are you sometimes afraid of what your future may hold? Not really, no. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? I am an excellent friend. Excellent. Are you afraid of death? No. Are you afraid of what might come after death? Not at all. Do you feel as though you're wanted in life? I do. Do you ever feel like you just don't belong? Uh, I don't think I feel like that. Do you ever feel like a burden? Definitely not. Have you ever felt left out? Of course I have. Have you ever felt like a failure? Nah. Have you ever felt like you just weren't attractive enough? Mm, can't say I've never felt like that before either. Have you ever worked yourself sick? Hell no. You ever have racing thoughts at night that make it difficult for you to sleep? Yes. Why? Why did I make that face? Are you afraid to ask for help? Mm, no, not at all. Do you feel like people often criticize you? No. You ever feel judged by your friends or family? I mean, I have great friends and family. Never feel judged. Usually. Most of the time. Whatever. Do you ever wonder what your purpose in, is in life? Sure, absolutely. If you could turn back the time, <clears throat> if you could turn back time for any reason, would you? Absolutely. <laughs> Who wouldn't though? Would you say that you have many regrets in life? I don't have many. You know what? My biggest regret was long, 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 long time ago. Long, 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 long time ago. Long time ago. My biggest regret was driving to Florida from uh, Kansas City. That drive was terrible. That drive sucked. <laughs> Does meeting new people for the first time make you uncomfortable? Not at all. Does looking out your window at night make you feel uneasy? Not one bit. I live in a pretty quiet neighborhood. Except for the cats that be like outside doing weird stuff. Making weird noises late at night. That is kind of creepy. Whatever. Do you sometimes double check that your doors are locked even though you're certain that you've already locked them? I 100% do that. Do you ever feel like life is moving too slow? Uh, actually, no. I feel like life is moving too fast. What? You ever feel like... Heard my thoughts. Do you ever feel uncomfortable when you're home alone? No, that's... I actually feel the most comfortable. Would you consider yourself being to be a thoughtful person? Absolutely, yes. Would you consider yourself to be superficial? Absolutely not. Do you ever do you ever judge others by the way they look or dress? Nah, don't really care. Would you ever consider yourself to be high maintenance? <laughs> you know what? I feel like I should be more high maintenance, but I'm like so low maintenance. It's 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 actually like tragic. Extremely low maintenance, like. Just give me like a sandwich, a pot pie, something good to drink, nice TV show to watch, video games. I'm pretty content. Have you ever been bullied by someone you cared about? No. Have you ever been a bully to someone? Never. I would never bully anyone. Actually, I used to fight the bullies that would bully other people. Do you try to keep a low profile to avoid attention from others while in a crowded area? Actually, I do. 
I don't like to be noticed. I like to be in the background. And I know what y'all saying. How do you like to be in the background and you have a whole damn YouTube page? Do you actively try to avoid busy places? No, I don't actively try to avoid busy, busy places. Not like actively. Would you sometimes rather be alone than surrounded by people you care about? Yes, definitely. Does making phone calls make you feel uncomfortable? No. Should it? Are you sometimes afraid to confront people, even when they do something that bothers you? Sometimes I am, yeah. That could be true sometimes. Do you feel uncomfortable when committing to definitive plans for the future? Huh, uncomfortable when committing to definitive plans for the future. Sometimes, yes. Do you ever feel like no matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to stay motivated? Um, no. I'm pretty motivated most times. Matter of fact, a lot of times, I may not even feel like doing YouTube videos. <laughs> uh, do you ever fear that you're failing those who care about you most? Nah. Have you ever carried an object around with you that made you feel more comfortable? No. Should I? Like a gun, maybe? Possibly, depending on where I am. Does being around animals bring you a sense of peace? No. Do you sometimes believe your loved ones are lying to you when they say that they care? No. Do you ever feel like you push your loved ones away? No. Ah, look. He didn't like them answers. Hmm. He about to start talking in rhymes and riddles now. I'm going to have to stop you here. The truth that pours forth is incredibly clear. I hope that you're being honest for your own health. You can try to lie, but you'll be cheating yourself. I'd like to move on to the next phase of the test. A series of pictures to give your brain a rest. You're going to tell me what emotional response they bring out, which will show me what your mind is pondering about. <laughs> so feast your eyes upon the art and let me into that precious heart. My heart is precious. My heart is very precious. For starters, what emotion do you feel is most present in this picture? Uh, I'm going to go with... It's not really chaos. It's not really depression. It's not really anger. Hmm. I don't really feel anything. We'll go with numbness. What word do you feel describes this picture best? I feel like that's kind of similar to the... I think that it's beautiful. And I'm kind of questioning whether I should pick beautiful because it might like morph into something that's really like effed up. But then I already picked beautiful. What do you think this picture is called? Chaotic crystals, the portal, soul abduction, a mind of risk mystery, celestial stare, I am going to, I said mystery, it's misery. I'm going to go with Celestial Stare. That sounds like a good, like, uh, buck movie. Yeah, this look angry. It's the red that makes it look angry. Fury, torment, volcano, brimstone, shattered, fault. I'm going to go with Fury. Arcing Blaze? Or is that, yeah, hmm? The world breaks, Inferno Gate, the shattering, rage incarnate. I'm gonna go with Inferno Gate. Sound like a rock band, Inferno Gate. What emotion do you feel? I feel, man, this might be like a CIA kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Am I being tested by the CIA with this game? I'm really starting to feel that right now. I hope the CIA don't come knocking on my door. I think that wraps it up. All right, your answers have been documented well. Deep into your subconscious, they dwell. See, that's what I'm saying, man. They, I think they kind of trying to get in here. You know what I mean? But I'm not finished with you just yet. I don't like the way that sounds. There are still some truths that have not yet been met. As a matter of fact, this is only the start. Oh, God, how many questions is it? Uh, we will have a great deal of fun before we part. So let me challenge you on another level still. I will pick your brain until I get my fill. The next set of questions will touch your conscience more. And again, your honesty, I do implore. Let us begin. All right. 
move my mic up a little bit. You know what I mean? Go ahead, get up there. Get up there a little bit right now. Right now. Mm -hmm. I like it. One year, you're running a little low on funds to purchase presents around the holidays. So you decide to spend $1 and get everyone in your family a lottery ticket. You give each of them their own lottery ticket and wish them the best of luck. The drawing is held and one of your family members hits the jackpot. But it's some time. <clears throat> but it's someone who you don't really get along with and just bought a present for out of moral obligation. They plan to keep the money all for themselves as they feel like it was their ticket. How does this make you feel? Angry, they should share the price. Jelly, I regret buying them to happy good for them. I'm glad they won. Indifferent, that's the way it goes sometimes. Yeah, I would just go with that. I can be indifferent about a lot of things sometimes. And what would you wish to do in this situation? Try to steal their ticket, destroy the ticket so no one get them killed. So let them be happy when we get them killed. What? If the role is reversed and you were given a winning lottery ticket, would you share the money with your least favorite family member who bought you the ticket in the first place? Sure. I mean, there's not too many family members that I just least alike like that. Now you're walking through a forest and you come across a black suitcase. Inside the case, there rests $1 million. Alongside the money, there lies a bloodstained note with only one word on, on written on it. The note simply says, don't. How does this make you feel? <laughs> uh, I'm going to say scared because it's blood and then it's saying don't. Hell yeah, I'm be scared. And what would you wish to do and grab the suitcase and run back to my car, take as much money to call the police and let them know, leave the suitcase. Uh, mind my own damn business. I'm leaving it alone and going about my business. If the note wasn't covered in blood, would it change your mind? No, if it still says don't, I ain't fuking with it. What would y'all do? Let me know down in the comments below. I want to know. Let me know what y'all would do. The devil appears in your room at night while you're alone and just about to fall asleep and tells you that he has a special one-time offer. In exchange for your soul and eternal damnation, he will let you choose from one of three glorious bargains. Okay, none of these are going to be good because I have to give my soul in exchange. What? Uh, he has not told you what those bargains are yet. How does this make you feel? Uh... Scared the devil's in my room, suspicious. I don't think the devil truly exists. Intrigued, I wonder what, uh, angry, I want him out now. Hell yeah, get out of here. The devil then goes on to assure you that whether or not you believe him to truly be the devil, he surely is. To prove his point, he demonstrates magnificent magical prowess and drags you to hell for a split second. What? <laughs> Before transferring you back to your bedroom. In that second, you feel a lifetime of pain and suffering in the most imaginable, wow. That is terrible. He then goes on to tell you of his offers in exchange for your soul to see if you can strike a bargain. Which of these would you choose in exchange for your soul, if any? All the wealth and the power in the world? Uh, nah. Uh, you'll never age but can still die from physical injury? Nah. You can uh, bring one person back from the dead? Nah. I wouldn't sell my soul to the devil. Hey, why, why would I do that? And for those choices? Uh, no. Like, he'd have to offer... Well, there's probably nothing he could offer that would make me do that. <laughs> Matter of fact, there's no probably to it. If the devil offered you a deal of some other kind, would you accept it? No! No! Why would anyone accept that? What? You're home alone at night, cooking food in your kitchen, and you turn around and realize that someone is watching you through your window in the darkness. Creepy. They have their face and hands pressed up against the window and they make direct eye contact with you before turning and running out of sight around the side of the house. How does this make you feel? Uh, protective, I need my family to be okay, secure, I'm ready to handle whatever. Anxious, I don't know what's about to happen. Scared, where did they go? And then I would grab my gun. I would 100% grab my gun. What do you think you do in this uh, situation? Lock the doors and call the police? Grab the nearest weapon in the house and prepare myself? Check to see if anyone in the house is safe? Run out of the house and go to next door neighbors. I am grabbing my gun. I said it before the question was even asked. I'm grabbing my gun. If the face you saw in the window was the face of a supernatural entity and not of a human being, would your answers change at all? I'd probably still grab my gun. Probably not gonna protect me from a supernatural being, but I 
feel a little bit more protected. Like, why would I run outside and it's outside? That makes no sense. I'm going to run outside, yet it's outside. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to present you with some potential scenarios, but I'm going to ask for more simplistic answers as a result. Here we go. You're not feeling all too well, so you decide to go to the doctor. The doctor runs a series of tests and gets back to you shortly after to announce some grave news. It turns out that you've contracted an incredibly rare illness that there's currently no cure for. The illness causes complete blood paralysis within six months of contraction, meaning that in less uh, than half a year from now, you'll be rendered unable to move, blink, talk, or any form of expression, whatever. Uh, you will need to be kept alive on a feeding tube, and you will never be able to communicate with anyone else ever again. You'll just be kept alive on machines in a vegetative state. <laughs> yeah, is this government sponsored? Is this game government sponsored? Are they? Is that what this is? Would you want to be kept alive in that state, or would you rather have the plug pulled uh, when that happens? Pull the plug. I mean, because I feel like that's not even living. You're not really living anymore. I mean, honestly. How would you like to spend the last six months of your life while still mobile? Spending time with friends and family? Pursuing all the dreams that I haven't yet accomplished? Making the world a better place? I'd wallow in self-pity and want to die. <laughs> I'm going to spend time with family and friends. I want to see y'all answers down in the comments below. The ones that y'all kind of want to answer. There are diseases out there that can put you in that sort of unfortunate situation. Does knowing this motivate you to do things you've never done before and pursue uh, more from life? But do you feel relatively unaffected by that knowledge uh, that just potentially happened to you at any point in time? It motivates me to strive for a better future. It doesn't really change anything. It doesn't. Sorry. Well, that wraps up this portion of the test. Thank God. But I need more from you before I allow a choice here. A choice there. Would you rather? More dilemmas abound from what I can gather. You will answer them clearly, crisp, and concise. Will you be selfish or choose concise vice? In just mere moments from now, we'll both shall see the difference between who you are and who you wish to be. Mm, I got gotcha. you who you are and who you wish to be. Let us begin. Would you rather abandon the person you love most or be abandoned by the person you love most? How about neither? What? Oh, my. Uh, I'm going to say, I don't, I wouldn't want to abandon the person I love most. I'll just be abandoned. I can get along. Uh, would you rather have friends in high places who could give you anything you wanted, but didn't necessarily care about you or friends who couldn't give you anything, but they feel a deep personal bond with you? I'm going to go with the stronger bond. I prefer stronger bond type relationships. Would you rather find $10,000 and keep it for yourself? Or find $20,000 but have to split it four ways with your closest friends and family. I'm going to keep the 10 for myself. Would you rather cheat on your partner but never get caught? Or know that your partner cheated on you but have no way of proving it? I don't cheat. Black men do not cheat. So we're going to go with getting cheated on. Would you rather get rich through illegal means or be poor but live an honest life? Um, I'm going to be poor and live an honest life. Yeah, skip doing illegal stuff. I could go to jail. Would you rather press a button that would kill your favorite pet or press a button that would kill your favorite family member? I'm going to kill my pet because I don't have one. <laughs> I cheated the system. Would you rather get fired from a high-paying job or have to fire your friends from a high-paying job? I'll get fired from a high-paying job. Well, I think I could probably fire my friends, depending on what it is. Hmm. They're pretty accountable. I'll say get fired. I'll find another one. Would you rather sleep with your step sibling or sleep with your best friend's partner? Again, this is a neither. And I do want to hear y'all's answers down in the comments below. This is a neither situation. But I would never do my best friend like that. We're going to have to go with the step sibling. Would you rather save your best friend from certain death and let 1,000 strangers die or save 1,000 strangers and let your best friend die? Huh. I would probably... Mm, that's a good one. 
That is a good one. Hmm. Save the many at the sacrifice of one or sacrifice one for the many or sacrifice the many for one. I said that backwards. <laughs> Uh, hmm. This is one that I'm not sure about. But there's probably kids in that 1,000 strangers. I wouldn't want the kids to die. Probably let my friend die. I hope they don't watch this video. Uh, <laughs> would you rather get free food for the rest of your life or rescue a starving child from a third world country? I'm going to say rescue a starving child, of course. Of course I will rescue a starving child. Would you rather be rich without having family or poor with family? I'm going to say poor with family. Would you rather have to steal food for the rest of your life in order to eat or steal enormous amounts of money from the wealthy, from the wealthy but have to destroy the money immediately after? What's the point then? What? is the point what is the point i'm gonna steal money from the wealthy f them would you rather never have sex for the remaining of your life or have to have sex every day in order to <laughs> uh i'm gonna say have sex every day to live i'm sorry what do you want me to do i, I could not be in a situation where i never have sex you know what i'm gonna take a picture of this question because i feel like this would be good for our podcast I want to see y'all answers for this question too. Would you rather punch a nun or get punched by a nun? I'm going to do the nun punching. They asked that in the other ones. They have this thing about punching nuns. Would you rather lose all of your money you've earned this year or lose all your memories you gained this year? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to lose the memories I've gained this year. I have some really good memories this year so far. Lose all money. Oh, my money gone. So far, would you rather flip a coin for a chance to win 20 or immediately win 10? I mean, that's not a significant amount of money either way. Uh, I'm going to flip a coin. It's 50-50. It's 50-50. I'll take a chance. Would you rather know how you die or know? Wait, what? Would you rather know how you die or know when you will die? Hmm. That's a good one. I want to see y'all answers for this in the comments below. No, how do I win? I'm going to say how. I don't think I would want to know or would I want to know when. Because if I knew when, then it's like, okay, I'm catching up. We're getting close to that day. I'm going to say, no, I'm going to say how. Would you rather be blind but be able to see crystal clear underwater? Or be deaf always? I wouldn't want to be deaf, but I guess being deaf, I could still like play video games, watch movies, closed captions. We're going to go with deaf. Actually, that's like one of my biggest fears is uh, becoming blind. That is one of my biggest fears. Would you rather give up all Internet and social media, but be able to travel the world for free or have the best Internet in the world for free, but never leave your house? Nigga, I will give up the damn internet and social media so quick. Are you kidding me? Would you rather walk barefoot across a bed of hot coals or walk barefoot through a pitch black snake infested? Uh, give me them hot coals. Give me them hot ass coals. Would you rather be the judge who sentences people to death or the executioner in charge? I'll be the judge, not the executioner. I will not be chopping heads. Would you rather walk one mile home wearing nothing but a pair of socks or be fully clothed but have to walk 100 miles? Damn. Yeah, I ain't walking one mile net. 100 miles fully clothed. I could walk 100 miles. I could walk 100 miles. No, nah, man, I could do that. Didn't say that you couldn't rest in between. Would you rather find $5 in your pocket or have to grab $100 out of a bucket of uh, public toilet? Give me that five. I am not putting my hand in no nasty ass toilet. F that. And I know some of you filthy people probably would. You're disgusting. And I am judging you. I am judging you. Would you rather have one hundred dollars of your, uh, or would you rather have one hundred of your favorite books but never watch a movie again, or have one hundred of your favorite movies but never read a book again? 
There's a lot of good stuff in these books. Hmm. But dang, I like watching movies too. I like watching movies a lot. I'd give up movies or yeah, give up movies for books. Didn't say anything about TV shows. Would you rather always be 20 minutes late to everything or two hours early to everything? See, if you're always 20 minutes late to work, you would get fired. I'll be two hours early. Would you rather lose all of your teeth or lose one day of your life every time you kiss someone? I would just not be kissing. See, and then because I already picked like have sex once a day to save my life or to live. So if I'm having sex every day to live, but I can't kiss anybody, um, I don't want to lose my teeth. I need my teeth. Would you rather have a pause button for life or a rewind button? Hmm. I'm going to go rewind. You know what? It reminds me of that episode of uh, Rick and Morty where Morty had that like reset button for his life. <laughs> Would you rather only eat food you don't like or give up all liquids except water? I'd give up all liquids. What? That's easy. Would you rather always listen to music at max value or always listen to music just above the lowest value? Uh, I'm going to say just above the lowest value. I mean, it's going to jack your ears up over time listening to max volume all the time. Would you rather live in excruciating pain for the rest of your life or live pain free? But everyone you know and love will live in excruciating pain for the rest of their lives. Everyone you know and love. I'd rather my loved ones live in excruciating pain. <laughs> Look, I don't ever want to put something on people I love. Like, that's not something that if, like, if I'm given the choice, I'm going to put it on me. What does that say about me? Hmm. I might need to do better about caring for myself. But we are not done yet. Oh, God, no. Yep, this is some MK Ultra type stuff. Do you? No, I don't like that whispering. I don't like that whispering at all. Do you have a lot of those who are closest to you lie? Sometimes, yeah. I mean, it happens. Have you ever hurt someone whom you know didn't deserve it? I have, and I apologize to them. I apologize profusely. Have you ever lost your temper when you know you shouldn't have? Of course. Have you ever intentionally hurt an animal? I have not. Have you ever blamed someone for something that you know they didn't do? No. Have you ever abandoned a pet? No. Have you ever abandoned a loved one in their time of need? No. Have you ever stolen something from someone that you cared about? No. Have you ever broken something to spite someone that you cared about? <laughs> no, this is ridiculous. Have you ever played the victim in a situation even though you uh, hadn't been wrong? You know what, I don't really play the victim wrong. Yeah, that's not something I do. Have you ever uh, had romantic feelings for someone who wasn't your partner while you were in a relationship? Oh, I have. Long, 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 long. Long, 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 long time ago. Have you ever wished for death of someone who had wronged you? Uh, that's kind of deep. Have you wished for death of a loved one? No, what? Why? If you knew that writing someone's name on a piece of paper can instantly cause their death, would you write down anyone's name? I wouldn't. There's no one that I just don't like that much. You feel like you can spend more time with your loved ones than you currently do? Uh, yeah, I probably could, 100%. Have you ever owed someone an apology but refused to apologize to them? Nah. I'm pretty good at apologizing when I know I wronged somebody. Uh, do you ever regret worrying too much about things you can't control? Yes. You ever feel like your negativity brings other people down? No, I'm not usually that negative. You ever regret not standing up for yourself when you feel you've been wrong? Sure, I've done that plenty of times. You ever feel like you let others influence your decisions? Making what? Decision making too much? I don't. I don't care about what others think. Uh, as far as my decision making. You ever wish that you lived a more honest life? No, I live a pretty honest life. Uh, has your dishonesty ever caused someone else to suffer? I mean, has it? Would I know? I'm going to say yeah, possibly. Uh, have you ever had someone leave your life before you had the chance to tell them something important? Sure. Do you ever feel like you prioritize people in your life that are unworthy of your time? I've definitely done that before. Do you ever feel like you prioritize your own wants before those who need you most? No, actually, I, I prioritize other people's wants before my own, mostly. I'm talking to my therapist about it. Judge yourself. You judge yourself. 
Do you ever feel like you spend too much time working towards something that you're not truly passionate about? No, if I'm not passionate about it, I ain't gonna do it. You feel like you're living up to your full potential? Uh, not really. You ever uh, let your fear stop you from pursuing things that you truly want? Absolutely, I've done that before. Have you ever refused to try something because you were afraid that you would fail? Absolutely, I have. Who hasn't? Have you ever been attracted to someone but refused to let them know because you were afraid of being rejected? I probably have. I'm pretty sure I have. You ever feel as though you're chasing the wrong things in life? Uh, not really. There's not much I'm chasing right now, honestly. Do you ever feel like you spend so much time planning for the future that you ignore the present? 100% I do. Do you feel like your friends and family like you more than you like them? Uh, probably not. Have you ever loved a pet more than your family? Nope, I don't have pets. you ever make up excuses to get out of going to an event instead of just telling the person who invited you that you just don't want to go? I've definitely done that before. <laughs> Do you ever feel like you spend more time with technology than you do building stronger bonds with your friends? Uh, not really. I spend a lot of a, a lot of time with my friends and family. Could I spend more? Possibly. Uh, have you ever defended someone that you shouldn't have? Sure. Do you sometimes have a hard time admitting when you're wrong? No. I can admit when I'm wrong. Do you ever place the blame for your personal failures on someone? Else? No. I take pretty much accountability. Have you ever accused someone of something with no real evidence to back it up? Sure. Have you ever had sex with someone who you know you shouldn't have? No. I've never done that. Have you ever had any kind of a relationship with someone whom you know you shouldn't have? No. Have you ever let a relationship degrade because you were afraid of being the one to break up with someone? No, now that I have not done. I would just kind of break it off. You ever feel like you could take better care of your own health? Of course. Have you ever let someone else take the blame for something you did? Mm, no. Have you ever acquired something that you didn't really want just because someone else wanted it? Have you ever acquired something that you didn't really want just because... Mm, acquired something? Um, I possibly have. You ever feel like you're not living up to others' expectations? No. Nah. Not really. Have you ever walked out of someone's life without any exp explanation? No, I haven't, actually. You ever feel like you focus more on the negative aspects of your life and what you don't have rather than being grateful? Um, I mean, I do sometimes. Not a whole lot, though. Have you, no, seriously. This is an ungodly amount of questions. This is an ungodly amount of questions. Have you ever witnessed someone being wrong uh, but didn't have the courage to stand up to them? Someone being wrong. You didn't. I'm sure in situations I have. And finally, do you feel like you're a good person? Sure. Very interesting. He about to say, nigga, no, you ain't. <laughs> I can't see how you would think that. That concludes the ending to your examination. In your mind, I have dug myself a hole. Not really. I will analyze your answers very carefully. And now it's time for me to gaze into your soul. Analyzing. This is preposterous. This simply cannot be. This nigga with these rhymes. I have expected every potential outcome, but yours seems to have evaded even me. <laughs> Why is he talking in rhymes? Because you picture like having a conversation with somebody and they only talk to you in rhymes. That would be so irritating. I was prepared to tell you of your fate. To play upon your fear, to break the worst of news to you, to plant seeds of doubt within your ear. Look, I don't want that crap in my ears anyway, you know what I mean? But as I have asked you to be honest with me, I must in turn be just as honest with you. For as much as I wish to lie, I am forever shackled to the truth. They're going to say it's MK Ultra. Watch. From what I can deduct from deep within, from everything you shared with me. In return, I should share this with you. This is what I see. Hmm. Well, this is very interesting. You're not as naive as you come across. I mean that in a good way, for the record. He gonna say it in a round. You can be skeptical sometimes, and you're nobody's fool. It's true. And even when someone manages to pull a fast one on you, good luck to them trying to make it happen twice. For true. You're highly intelligent and you learn from your mistakes. Highly intelligent? Ah, 
Highly is a strong word. Do I learn from my mistakes? Yes. Which is taking you very far in life thus far. However, here comes the bad stuff. The issue is you spend a lot of extra time second guessing yourself or others at times. And you waste a lot of valuable time trying to figure out the motives of another rather than just going with the flow and seeing what happens. Yeah, that might be true in some cases. Yeah, this is a defense mechanism that your mind has created to prevent you from being swindled or potentially hurt. This could be true. MK Ultra, they may be on to something. This is both good and bad. As it can protect you from a lot of negative situations. However, it can also hinder you by forcing you to miss a lot of incredible opportunities by taking a chance. My advice to you would be to open, a, open up a little bit more. Let your hair down. I take offense to that. I don't have hair. I take offense to that. Let your guard down and let your walls down. You will feel so much better and get so much further in your life goals if you just take a moment to relax and say yes more often to new opportunities. Stop spending so much time thinking about what could go wrong and cut it down to only one second of thinking what could go right. You miss 100% of the opportunities you don't take and not everyone is out to get you. I think you'll be very surprised just how much positive impact this can have on your life going forward. I hope this information helps you achieve your goals. Your secret word is trusting. Remember this word. This will come in handy. Trusting. Trusting. If you received an ending that you already received before from previous examination, remember we did not ask your secret words prior to this, uh, taking the test. So that should be very telling. It means something very special. And if your results is the same as something you got previously, you would like to phrase 20 words next to you. You see an entirely new outcome. That means you got multiple layers of things to work on in your journey. <laughs> you may just have an extra layer of depth to your personality, but only you will know the answer to that. You answered hundreds of questions. You found deeper meanings. You've been enlightened and you've helped others find enlightenment. Did y'all find enlightenment? Did y'all find enlightenment? Many people have wondered just what the test series is truly about, but it's simple. The answers are always so much more simple than we believe them to be. The test is about you. All right, folks, that is it for this Weird Game Wednesday. Uh, yeah, I definitely cut some questions out, and I'm going to tell y'all why. This was an hour and a half of questions. And I did not want y'all to have to sit through an hour and a half of questions and reading. God, it was a lot. But as y'all can see, this game was a human experience for us all to take on together. Shout out to the developers on this one. Actually, it's like really interesting. I can't front y'all. This is a really interesting concept and a really interesting game, I guess, if you can call it that. So, I mean, if y'all want to play it uh, or leave, you know, some of the uh, answers that y'all put in some of these questions down in the comments below, please do so. And I still need more suggestions for Weird Game Wednesday, Wednesday so put those down in the comments also. As always, thank y'all for stopping by. Checking your boy Puss in Boots out, man. Don't forget to hit that like button especially i mean after i didn't share the deepest darkest parts of my soul to y'all i need y'all to hit that like button and subscribe and share and i'll see y'all in the next video i'm out this piece judge yourself deuces